So we had measured, it was 23 uh, millimeters uh, did, uh, of, uh, of uh, length on the lesion. So we pedal it with a 2 into 2, 12 balloon NC. We deploy a 2 to 5, 24 DES, and we post dilate here. And then we pull back to check on the IVS first as to what we've done with the angioplasty. And you can see the distal is okay. Lumens are okay. And as you come back, what you can see, there is plaque all over, but the lumens are reasonable. And as you come there, you can see a small flap. Uh, I will show you the resting picture a little bit later, but clearly I will pull this back once more. And you can see the stent is reasonably deployed distally. The lumens, as you can see, are pretty much good. Uh, distally and within the stented area, uh, they're okay. They're okay distally, and you can see just as you pull back, just there, you can see a flap. And possibly this is created when we when we put the stent or the balloon, or you're you you you're tackling the distal vessel. So the next issue is now, we pull back the IFR, and you can see now that the IFR has changed, and it's 0.91 now, after we have fixed the stent. And clearly now, the deltas are now coming here. So clearly your problem has moved from here to here, and you can see clearly, if you look at the points, if you want to get to an estimate IFR, it's exactly the four is here and one is here, and so we need to now realize that this is because of the dissection. And you can clearly see on the angiogram now, in the RAO view, there's a flap there. And then there is a, a issue uh, in the middle of the RCA. So clearly now we are now looking at how to fix that. And so we now do an IOS pullback there to size the vessel and to size the length of the lesion to fix that dissection. And you clearly can see that what we need to now get at is approximately a 3.5 size tent. You can see the lumens uh, here and the proximal lumens to decide what size of stents you require. And so we put a 3.5 into 34 millimeter DES and then go up with the 3.5-12 NC balloon post dilatation. And then we again do an IVUS to check whether the lumens are okay. And now we have fixed that spot part of the mid. The stent is okay. The proximal lumens and the distal lumens are okay. And we now do another FFR, which is now 0.98, and an IFR, which is 0.99, uh, and you just have one delta point here. So clearly, things can change as you do the procedure, and you may have, uh, like, like Dr. Lee said, a distal lesion just became now sequential lesions because you have to fix this now. So the issue now is two questions, and this is something which we want to discuss. The LAD proximal lesion, which was the culprit, was fixed. Uh, it looked very good after stenting. With good lumens areas on the IVUS, there was a diffuse gradient, but the gradient was entirely in the area of the muscle bridge. And so going up on the stent would not help here because those delta points were very little. In the RCA, it was diffused, diseased vessel with a focal gradient, but we got, uh, we thought of a distal just one stent and finish off, but there was a wire induced dissection, which clearly now created a functional problem, and a focal stent was required to correct the physiology. So whether this less than optimal IFR at the LAD, which is basically 
uh, what we don't want. Obviously, we want better IFRs. Uh, with the bridge creating some issues, and the diffuse RCA which we spotted with stents would ultimately re result in any change of outcomes. I think we need more data, and that would be a point of discussion on this uh, on this uh, uh, presentation. Thank you very much.